Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a skin update. I want to show you guys that my skin is looking a lot better. Um, honestly, it's been like a week and a half, I want to say, since I filmed and I showed you guys step by step what I do when it comes to my skincare and what I've been using when it comes to my skincare. What are my current skin skincare goals are just to have nice, even toned skin, um, definitely healthy and remove all the pores that I have that is a second goal that I'm currently doing I just want to say that I am pretty freaking proud of how my skin is doing it is doing amazing um this is actually me just wearing mascara gloss and I dip my eyebrows Ugh, there's a hair so if I started using it on the 26 and 7 20 to 9 30 it's been four days that I've been using this product now Honestly, I've been only using this at night because that's what it recommends you. I don't put this in the morning at all because it says not to. Well, it doesn't say not to. It just says ideally in the p.m. So I'm only using this at nighttime. Definitely at first it was a stinging sensation. But after that, I mean, it's it only stings if you have an open wound. That's the only time it actually stings. This one is the Ordinary Glycerin, which is the one I was waiting for to be able to lighten up my skin. But I also ended up buying some... Urban RX because I was just just in case that this might not work. I have a backup going on But I can say that I do see a difference upon my skin Literally all I have is I wash my face. I use toner. I use moisturizer and I use sunscreen That is it for sunscreens I am currently using mini samples because I kind of want to see what my skin is doing better upon I found out that I have I found out that I have a lot of mini samples so then I'm gonna go ahead and just use them up and see what what works best for me because I really didn't like the fact that Avino one, I don't know, it wasn't for me. It might be for you, it just was not for me at all. So right now I could tell you that all I have is like pigmentation here. I had a new pimple here which I popped right here. Then I have like a little pigmentation here going on. Now this area right over here, it's more of the mask than anything else i switched on to different masks because i wanted to see what's going on is it just the fabric is it the, just like the the temporary ones i want to know what's going on in like so so far i've been using like the thicker versions and i mean it's not bad then moving on over here over here i feel like the only area i have is this area right over here and then a few here and then like down here I think my skin is doing a lot better, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. I would say that trying different sunscreen tests help out a lot because I've been currently using the Shiseido one, but I feel like it's a little bit too oily for me, especially since I have combo skin. I have oily and dry skin. So to me, this one wasn't for me at all. Then I started using this one right over here, which is from... First Aid Beauty, the weightless liquid mineral screen with zinc oxide. It's a SPF 30. This one has a tint to it, like a slight tint to it. So I think that this actually helps you out, kind of like reducing the redness of the skin that you have anywhere around. Kind of gives you like a, just kind of like an even tone, but it's very sheer, like super sheer. Like it's not going to cover any of your redness. It's just like a sheen to it. And then I also been using this one, which is an Elmis Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF. This is for it's like an anti aging one. I like the fact that this one's a water base. My skin has improved tremendously since the last time we have talked and we have seen. I just feel that I want to be able to just talk to you guys about it and share it and let me know in the comments down below, you guys, because a lot of you guys have been commenting in and. I've been t reaching out, talking to you guys, engaging with you guys because I want to be able to help you guys with your skin because I know how it felt and I know how it feels to just like go from this going on to like really horrible acne. And like I know I did not do the best job on taking pictures on a daily basis to show you guys on how bad my acne was just because I was ashamed of it. I hated it. I was upset with it. It was just like downhill to me. And I regret a lot of not taking pictures, but I do want to say that you guys comment any questions that you guys have. I will try to answer to my best ability. And, you know, I am just a girl with combination skin that suffered for acne since she was a teen. 
but I suffered it because I always touch my face. I have a bad habit of touching my face and picking my acne. So to me, that's just me being me and doing it. Even when I put on the little individual lashes, I started picking them off because I don't know. It's like a de-stressor for me. So, and stay tuned for more videos, you guys. I kind of want to go out of my boundary and like jump off a freaking bridge in the ocean. Not really. I'm not ever doing it. Never. Three, two, one.